hey, Patrick, how you doing? Okay, so I've got your file up, but I was looking at your readings out, or your writing, and I just want to address a couple of things. So I thought it was an interesting choice to use that abstract composition that you had prepared for the person, place, and thing exercise. So that was interesting. As soon as I read it, I was like, wow, this is going to be interesting. And we'll get to that in one second. Um, I do definitely have some comments in that regard. So um, to get into the mindset of a painter, since I'm used to doing work on a computer, totally agree there, totally agree. It's even if you're a seasoned painter, if you haven't, if you haven't actually painted in a while and you're just used to digital, um, work it's it's <laughs> it takes a minute to get your mind wrapped around okay brush strokes brush wet brush dry brush and all the elements we use in traditional painting that are mimicked quite nicely in uh in the mixer brush in, in photoshop great tool isn't it amazing tool i had shared this with several other students in the uh, in the forum, so perhaps you had seen this comment or heard me say this comment, but back in the day, we used to have to use a dedicated software program to get effects like this. Typically, we used Corel Paint Painter, and um, it was a, a, a whole new learning curve. So the, it was this Photoshop is this is a game changer. Uh, this tool, so um, I, I know myself as, as as well as many many other seasoned Photoshop professionals were really really glad to see this tool introduced to. Um, the format. So, so excellent. Okay. So back to the task at hand, command Z, <laughs> of course. Um, okay. Played around with a couple of things. This is where I want to get, this gets interesting right here. Choosing a round ballpoint. I get that. I understand that. I, I, I can see the stroke. So I, I understand that. But then here's where I want to go. I want to talk about this. Using a PSD I already had was nice because I had layers set up. It was a, I was able to then focus on each layer and build the, play, the painting from smaller components. Now, to me, that's almost telling me that you didn't have sample all layers checked. Um, and that's just, that's critical. It's critical in, in um, this tool. You have to check all sam sample all layers. Um, otherwise, you are only working with an individual layer and it's very, very time consuming. So let me know if that's what you're referring to on this. And if it is, if you didn't have check on, um, uh, if you didn't have sample all layers checked, let me know because I want you to run some little tests with sample all layers checked. So you can even do it on this file or, or, or this um, image or start with a new image and just run some tests and let me know um, that you, 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 you understand it how and you understand and how that sample all layers works and that you're able to put it to task um, in your painting. Just, just let me know on that, okay? Because it's really important. I mean, that's the critical a critical step in this process. Let's go ahead and take a look at the painting. Okay, got it up here. I just want to get that into the window, so we'll just reduce this. All right, it, first, I just want to say that it was, it's really, really super difficult to critique a painting like this because it's it's just so abstract. So it's very, very difficult to ascertain artists' intent. Now, if we have a different, like a portrait here, or did you know here that's a great that's a great one isn't it there's some really great examples up here but if you have a portrait and i've been using this this example because it's just it's done so well and again michaela <laughs> if you're watching thank you for allowing me to use your work as an example but patrick take a look at this at michaela's portrait and you'll see what i mean this is this something like this would be a lot easier to critique because it's a portrait okay so we have foreground background we have uh, consistency, light source, etc., and and it's easy to critique, right? And most of these are, but then we get to a really super abstract piece like this, and I'm just like, I'm just kind of like, okay, so where do I start? So I think it's it to me, it shows excellent experimentation. It shows that you're 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 developing brush strokes. It shows that it tells me you're considering preserving light source in the painting that's great and it tells me that you're you're able to take a look at this and envision what you want to see in this composition as a painting so i think it's done very very well again i i, I can't speak to um technical merits because it is such an abstract piece i thought this was a really interesting choice leaving your your own image untouched i thought that was really i think that adds a very interesting artistic uh, flair to the piece and i think it, it kind of rings true to the actual concept as i saw it and that's the contemplation here 
Um, so, so the, the, the relationship between the, the, the individual in the background, that's you, and then the individual in the foreground, that's you again, and the boots are what's connecting the two. So to push that concept further, to develop a completely different visual approach to the foreground and the background, I think pushes that concept as I said, even further. So I thought that was fascinating. I thought that was a really, really super interesting choice. Good job. Okay, so um, in summary, um, yeah, just go ahead and open up a, a, an image. Make sure you, you click sample all layers. Run some tests, wet, dry, wet brush, dry brush, um, cleaning your brush, not cleaning your brush. Run some different tests. Just give me a, a real quick synopsis of your reaction on that. Sound good? All right, great job, Patrick. Thank you very much.